let's look at the next set a typical network diagram question company xyz limited started a project with 12 stages a through l the following table gives the time required to complete each stage and the necessary stages that should be completed before the stage can be started okay then these stages have been mentioned stages necessary to be completed before starting the stage and time required to complete stage in days okay so the best way to proceed in such questions is the first thing you do is try to record all the data that you have in a diagrammatic form uh, the diagrammatic form would be a and then after a is done b can be done and c can be done so you go to b then you go to c then d can be done after c you go to b then you have e can be done after b and d so you have e the arrows are important simply to denote where is the movement f can happen after b so f then you have g after f so g then you have h after a so h i after d so i then j happens after g and h so this and this will combine to give me j k happens after h and i k and then finally l will happen after q so you have l <coughs> what this diagram enables us to do is see the dependency of every stage on every prior stage mentioned we also have been mentioned the times along with it so let's record these times appropriately now see these are durations if you record it in the form of duration information capturing becomes difficult so instead you should be writing it as on which day the process started and it went on to which day so stage a which takes five days should go on from one to five Stage B, which takes 16 days, should go on from 6 to 21. Stage C, which takes 12 days, should go on from 6 to 17. Stage D, which takes 10 days, should go on from 18 to 27. Cool, cool. Then stage E takes 3 days. So you look at stage E, D is also a constraint, B is also a constraint, so this will only start on the 28th day will go on till 30. Okay, E is taken care of. F will take 4 days. F starts after B, so it will go from 22 to 25. Okay, now F is also done. So G, 6 days. 6 days, so 26 to 31. G is also taken care of. H takes. 8 days, 8 days, so 31 to 38, H is also taken care of, I takes 10 days, so it will go on from 28 to 37, cool, 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 I is also taken care of, now J takes 18 days, for J the conditionalities are 30, uh, G and H, so it will only start on the 39th day and because it is taking 18 days, we will go on till the 56th day. Taken care of. Now K starts from the 12th. Uh, it will take 12 days. It will start on the 39th day. We will go on till the 50th day. Now finally L will start on the 51st day. And we will go on till the 58th day. Now we have the precise days on which each of these stages would take place. And this is the entire project. Any stage once it started is implemented till its completion without any stoppages in between. However, it is possible that more than one stage is under implementation simultaneously. The project is set to be completed when all of the above listed 12 stages are completed. If you have paid any attention to network diagram, these are standard conditions. So, we were able to arrive at our diagram even before reading these inst instructions. That is good. The first question, after completing stage E, 
at least how many more days are required to complete the project. Stage E gets over on the 30th day and the total time it takes us is 58 days. Therefore, there are 28 more days required. So the answer here is 28. Stage J cannot be started before the Stage J in our setup starts on the 39th day. Cannot be started before the 39th day. Option D. Now, very much like CAT, you have the first two questions had different instructions and additional information questions 3 and 4. After completing the above project, the company was awarded another two projects, both exactly identical to the above project. However, the company had a constraint that there was only one team for each stage of the project, because of which no stage could be implemented simultaneously in both the projects. So effectively, what this constraint is saying is, after project 1's stage A is over, you can start stage A of project 2, but not prior to that. Okay. So let's record, we've done this in class also, let's record when would stage A, B, C, D, blah, blah, blah happen for project 2 now. This will start on 6 and go up to 10. And when you go to B, stage B for project 2, will now this has two constraints, after 10 and after 21, so this will start on 22nd and will go up till, added 16, it will go up till 37. Now for C, 10, 17, it will start on 18 and will go up to 29. Now you go to D, it will start on 30 and will go up till, to add it 12, it will go up till 39. When you go to E, now for E, see, 30, 37 and 39. All of these are constraints. So E will start on 40 and we'll go up till 42. For F, the constraint is 25 and 37. It will start on 38, 16 further, and we'll go up till day 41. For H, the constraint is 42 and 38. So it will start on day 43 and we'll go up till day 58. For H, we've got our dates. For I, 37 and 39 is a constraint. So it will start on 40 and we'll go up to day 49. Okay. For G, the constraint is 41 and 31. So it will start on 42. 16 further and we'll go up to 47. Okay. Now, when you come to K, the constraint is 50, 50 and 49. Therefore, the work here will start on 51 and go up to 62. The constraint for L is say 58 and 62. So, the work will start here on 63 and will go up to 70. The only project in which the second setup is not known is J. Let's look at uh, J. The constraint is 47, 50 and 56 which means the work will start here on 57 and will go up till 74. Okay, if you've noticed, I tried to record it in the most neat way possible, but I am not very neat anyway and this technological is an impediment for me. Uh, okay, so if you can notice, all the numbers on top of the individual stage refer to how much time it would take in stage in project 1 and the numbers at the bottom of the stage refer to the time it could take for project 2. So now I let's go to the answers. What is the total time required to complete both the projects? So this is the answer, this number here. So the answer here has to be B, 74. And then the next question is, what is the least time required from the start of these three projects to complete stage G in both the projects? Stage G in both the projects, this is 47. So stage G in both the projects has to be 47. I think I made an error here. This should be option 47. So that will be the answer. And that is it.